Okay, today we're going to have a look at node editing in Blender. And I would consider this a little more advanced. If you're not familiar with the Blender interface, uh, this is probably going to confuse you. And even if you are familiar with it, it might be a little confusing at first. Once you get the hang of nodes, they're, it's not that confusing. But at first, you have a lot of stuff going on, as you'll see. Um, but nodes are basically for uh, mixing images and, and adding effects uh, to images. Uh, and videos. So let's have a look. Uh, here's our default view. We've got a cube and a camera here is the camera view here. We're going to go click on our uh, window type menu here and go up to node edit editor. And uh, this is our node editor. We have to click uh, right here composite node. It's a little picture of a face. Then we're going to use node and we're going to click backdrop. Backdrop is going to give us a preview of our render window here in a little bit. So uh, by default, it adds this box, which is the scene, the 3D scene that we were just in. If we click this little render window, it renders that 3D scene and gives that as an output. Uh, what we can do now is we can add another output, and we're going to go Viewer. So we have our composite window up here and our view window. The view window is anything that shows that is what's going to show up in the background here. The composite is what's going to be rendered when we render, uh, which let's go into render window right now, our render window options down here, which is F10. Uh, when we render from the compositor, we have to make sure we have do composite clicked here, or else it's going to render the 3D view. So right now, nothing special. It's just our 3D view. Uh, what we can add is if we hit space and go another input, we can choose image, load new, and we can go to uh, where we have some images or videos uh, available. So here are some video clips I have available. And uh, so I chose one. Nothing shows up first because we have to click here and tell it that it's a movie. And then we have to tell it how many frames there are in this video clip. Uh, one way to do this, although there might be faster ways, but I'm just going to go to 3D view here. I'm going to go view background image and I'm going to choose that same video for my background image here, which I believe was clip three here. And if we just click this button here, it tells us, oh, it's 100 frames exactly. Nice, okay. So we'll go to our node editor, and we'll say that this is 100 frames. And now we have our video clip. Uh, we can now mix these two images and basically superimpose this 3D cube on top of this video here. Uh, we can do that by going down to Colors and Mix. And uh, actually, no, we don't want Colors and Mix. Sorry, we're going to get into that later. We're going to go to Colors Alpha Overlay. We're going to connect the cube here and the video here. Notice nothing changed here because we still have our outputs going from uh, our render view to our inputs of our view. We want to connect it from here. So we click this yellow circle, connect it there. Now we have the video, and actually let's switch these in order, and now the cube's on top there. So that's a quick way to superimpose stuff. You notice you have some uh, blue around the cube here. You can change that by just turning this number up a little bit. Um, so that's simple, mixing our 3D view with a video. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to choose this uh, 3D view here, our render window. I'm going to hit delete and delete it. And I'm going to delete our alpha overlay. Like I said, I'm not doing anything too special today. I'm just showing you the basics of how things work. Uh, I added another image here. I'm going to load, and I'm going to choose another video clip. I'll choose this one here. Same thing. We have to tell it that it's a movie and set a number of frames. I'm just going to set it to 100, although uh, you can check how many clips uh, frames are in that video if you'd like. Nothing going to our uh, compositor or video because uh, we can connect those like so. Uh, to if you want to unconnect something, you got this line here. Just drag a box around it and it deletes it. Um, but let's mix these two images here, these two videos. I'm gonna hit space and I'm gonna go down to color and I'm gonna go to mix. And you can see that uh, we already have this one connected because we had that. Uh, video selected so it automatically connects it. Uh, we can drag this one down now to the second image and we can drag the output of that to the input of our viewer. 
and we can see we got a mixed uh, of the two images. Now uh, this little frac dot uh, zero dot five is how much you're mixing the top image with the bottom image. If you go and you subtract that, you're going to get more of just the top image, which is this image right here. If you want to switch them, you can just click here, drag one dot to another, and it will automatically switch them for you. And larger this number is, the more the two images are blended until you get all the way to the top image. And actually, we, uh, one is the top image, and then you just go a little past that and starts mixing it even there even more. Let's go back to 0.5, or at least close to 0.5. And you'll see that if you have this drop down box, you have a bunch of mixing options. And if you've worked with any good video editors or with a um, still image editor such as GIMP or Photoshop, you're familiar with layers, hopefully. And that's just how the two images are mixed. Uh, if you did add, you can see it adds the two images together, subtracts, subtracts, and makes them darker. You got multiply, screen, basically anything in the top video closer it is to black, the more transparent it is. And you can just go through and, and see what each of these options do and play with them yourself. And uh, so that's mixing images. And you'll notice that right now we have the output going to our viewer, which, as I said earlier, is our background here. Oops, I accidentally deleted that line. Um, but if we hit render right now, you'll notice that all we got is black. That's because we don't have anything set to our composite output here. So we'll connect the output of this to there. And we'll click render. And we got render. And you'll notice that right now there's a black border around our image. That's because we have it set to a different aspect and ratio. Um, I've mentioned in the past, uh, if you're in the US, you want to choose NTSC. Uh, if you're in Europe, you want to pick PAL. So we'll pick NTSC, and that changes the resolution and the frame rate of our video. And we click render, and now we got a perfect little no black border around the image there with two images mixed with a darkened uh, mix option. Uh, and now we can also render out a video. We'll choose, I'll just choose AVI JPEG here. Right now it's going to save it to the temp folder, but you can choose whether output folder you want and file name right there. And let's set the end frame to 100 since that's the length of our shortest video clip here. Then we can click animate and it'll start animating. It's doing a, a frame about every half a second, I would say. Um, if you want to stop this, you can hit escape and it stops it and then you can close that out there. Uh, if you want to play what you've rendered, you just press play and it renders it. And uh, so that's the first tutorial on node editing. Uh, and basically I showed you how to mix images or scenes together and you can actually mix multiple. I've got a few more minutes, I'll quickly show you. We'll add another video clip here, another input, load, we'll choose another video clip. We'll say that it's a movie. You can also do sequence of images or a still image. I'm going to set it to 100 frames. And now I can add another uh, mix window here. And I can grab the output from this mix window. See, if I was to grab it from this image, it would mix these two images. Connect it to the view output there. You see I have those two images. If we want to mix all three, we'll grab it from here. So we're taking the output of these two images mixed at a dark uh, layer mix, and we're going to mix it with this image here. So now we kind of have all three images mixed there, which uh, is kind of dark. You don't see too much. but And once again, right now you can see we have the composite going from the dark to our composite. So if we were to click render now, it's just going to render these two. You got to make sure that when you render, you have connected the output from what you want rendered to the input of the compositor. It's not just the viewer. So we're going to grab here and drag this up to here. Now if we render, we have all three images mixed. So that was our first look at uh, uh, node editing in Blender. Uh, play around with it some. I didn't really show you like what is useful about it. I'll show you some useful features, but you got to play around with it and decide how you're going to use it. Uh, films by Chris for more videos like this. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed. The link is in the description. Have a great day.